we're going to do kind of a cool experiment to show how fast water goes through our bucket filters. I have a 74 micron, a 43 micron, a 15 micron, and a 5 micron filter that we're going to test. And so I'm just going to turn the tub on full blast and let you watch just how quickly I can fill these up. We'll start with our 74 micron and then we'll move down to the smallest. So here we go. This is our 74 micron filter. Full blast. As you can see, I can't put any water in this. It is just literally flowing through almost as fast as I can get it in there without making a mess here. Just flowing right through. Okay, so there's our uh, 74. This is 43 micron. To some extent, I can kind of hold water in this filter. You see on here? So I can, I can get a little bit of water in here. I'm probably about, oh, able to put about, about an inch in the bottom. You'll notice it's holding on there, but it's still coming through pretty good out the bottom. Our next filter, which is a 15 micron, we'll go ahead and turn this water on. You'll notice water is just kind of barely dripping out of this one. I'm able to fill this one quite a ways, probably about halfway full now. Yeah, I can probably overwhelm this one pretty easily. You know what's in here, what I've got going on? See, so I can, I can start, but we still have a fair amount of water coming out the bottom. I have the water on full blast now, and I'm going to be able to overwhelm this pretty quickly. Go ahead and turn it off show you just how much water I'm able to hold in this one. So I, I've pretty much got it to the top. I've probably got about an inch of water in there right now. So yeah, it was, uh, that one was pretty easy. As my final one is my five micron. Five micron, we have a thousand micron backer on it. So let's see if, uh, how quick we can load this one up. You'll notice we are getting very little water coming out the bottom. I'm not even on full blast and I'm almost halfway full, able to fill this one with water. And it just, it holds quite a bit of water pretty quickly. Okay, this filter is almost full and I am about to overwhelm it. You can kind of see it trickling out the bottom. It's just more of a trickle, not a, not much. So we can overwhelm it now. Almost able to overwhelm it. It's full, right up to the top. I'm not quite going over the top yet, but it's still all the way full. You see the jet of water we got going. Pretty good shower going on in the bottom of this, but inside you see that it retains the water pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna go through all of them real quick just to give you an idea. So again, this was my 43 micron, or I'm sorry, my 5 micron. I'll leave them all in about the same so I don't splash myself terribly. 
Again, I'm able to retain quite a bit of water in this one. I kind of see that going on. Just five. You see inside of there. It's able to hold some. I'm sorry, this is 15 micron, my bad. But it's coming up pretty easy on the bottom, pretty quick. This one's 43. At this rate, I'm able to maybe get about a half an inch in the bottom. But it's flowing through pretty good. You can see there. And then my 74. The 74 just goes right through. I mean, I'm not building any up in it at all, you can see. It's just gushing right through it, so. But that gives you an idea of what our different microns do when you put water in them. These filters are 10 and a half diameter. They're about six inches deep. And they're available on our website, utahbio.com. And uh, thanks for watching.